Hello, my dear pressure engineers. Recently, we uploaded video on which PC or a laptop should be purchased by engineering student to run CAD FPS software. And we received so many comments about requesting that to explain more technical configuration information while purchasing PC or laptop. So now on a huge re request, I am going to conduct this webinar to give you complete knowledge about PC and laptop hardware within 20 to 30 minutes. And I am 100% sure about this session. After this session, you will get whole idea about PC configuration so you can configure your own PC. So guys, please watch this video till the end and it will add lots of value in, our, in your knowledge. Also, if you not watch my previous video that on how CAD, CAM, CAE, FEA, ERP and PLM software work and what kind of use of that software, please watch that video. I have put the link in a description box. First look how computer is working inside the different hardware and software. So basically for in a computer, we, we need uh, like operating system, motherboard, you can graphics card, keyboard, these basic components are required to configure our, lab, uh, our system. Guys, working of computer is just like a human body and it has a program made to do various tasks. And each day we are programming the coding of our brain to face new challenges. Like, guys, we have program of our computer for use. Similarly, in computer, we have operating system called Windows. Windows is a program code or a software by which we can do various work in a computer. Yes, we can talk with the computer hardware with programming language and give instruction to perform various tasks with the help of specialized and customized software. This program code is a process by processor cell as a CPU chip or a, you can say microprocessor and this CPU chip controlled by keyboard and a mouse. Then it's visualizing output on a monitor screen. I repeat, in a computer, we have an operating system called as a Windows. This is the one of the program code or a software by which we can communicate with the computer and give instruction to perform specific tasks. This program code is a processor, process by processor called as a CPU chip and this CPU chip controlled by keyboard and mouse and then it visualizing output on a monitor screen. When we boot the computer, the operating system gives command to all the devices by which we can work on a computer. Okay, understood? It is simple as it is. Over the time, we were developed several many programs like uh, program, you can say so several many programs, codes or a software by which we can fly airplane, we can run automated machines, bikes, car, uh, we can launch satellite and automated industrial plant. If you look around, you will see the various products and this all product made by developed developed by this computer machining tool. Really it fantastic, my dear friend. Our engineers develop tons of computer program called as a software and that makes our life easier than ever. I am thankful to all engineering community to providing such computer technology. Okay, let's talk about the technical configuration information. It has total 17 components where you have to pay attention while purchasing the computer. Every computer system is a built of processor chip. In a processor chip, uh, basically processor chip is used to do mathematical calculations. You can say second one is RAM. It is used as a temporary memory. Then we need graphic card. We can also call as a virtual memory to show graphics in monitor. Hard disk. It is a storage device and there are two types of storage devices. Those are First one is SSD hard disk. It is a faster storage device on and on this device we can install our operating system and various softwares. And second one is HSD hard disk. It is a storage device used to store data, but it is it will be comparatively slower than SSD. Then we need motherboard 
it is used to connect all the components of pc we need power supply also called as a pcu then we need cabinet for cooling computer system then finally we need we, we need keyboard plus mouse these are the input devices to give command to the computer then we need monitor basically monitor should have hdmi port with ips panel we need wifi adapter for internet then we need operating system like windows or a mac and basically it is a platform that controls the computer where we can install all the software then we need antivirus basically antivirus used to protect our operating system from unwanted program called as a virus just like our unpleasant emotions and we don't want it similarly uh, we have to protect our computer from virus so we need antivirus then pen drive it gives you the mobility to transfer the data then if, if we can install cad fa software to create engineering graphic design then we need extension box basically used to plug various component of power supply then we all need one printer scanner of course for printing then hope oh, it's clear till now before going further we need to understand the purpose of computer for design software we need computer we need guys we need computer to generate 2d and 3d graphics to create dynamic 3d model it means three dimensional virtual model also we can do uh, any kind of mathematical cal calculation we can we can create manufacturing working sheet to generate virtual realistic animation video like walk through we can create rendering and then we have to do mathematical calculation to calculate failure life of that component so for that there are cad and fa software developed to do this kind of work basically for this kind of work we use software like autocad katia creo nx cad solid works inventor pdms revit mep nx cam master cam dell cam ansys ansys fluent nastran hypermesh ms project and primaver etc now listen carefully let's take a example of car when we have to purchase a new car we have so many options before buying a car we do lots of research similarly there are many computer part manufacturer we can do same thing while buying this computer parts now let's talk about computer parts and its function first component is a processor chip also called as cpu basically cpu stands for central processing unit it is used to process the program data there are major two companies like intel and amd these both companies manufacture the computer processor chip and both have top in technology now let's see technically in a simple language the processor has built up with a five major component and those components are number of cores number of threads clock speed or frequency gpu enable or not basically gpu stands for graphic processing unit and last is a cache memory the intel and amd cpu chip available with number of cores it may be one core or maybe two core four six and so on similarly along this it gives you number of thread for multitasking like two two thread four thread six and so on the clock speed or a frequency is almost same in intel and amd and gpu enable or not a gpu may be a gpu you gpu may be found integrated with cpu on the same circuit on a, or a, you can say on graphic card or on or on a motherboard or of your personal computer or a server nvidia amd arm are the major players in the gpu market graphics processing unit is a specialized processor organic or originally designed to accelerate graphics rendering gpu can process many pieces of data simultaneously making them useful for machine learning video editing and gaming application and last one is a cache memory it is available as per cpu chip built okay now now we have to understand the difference between cores and threads cpu chips means central processing unit it has core to process data 
Thread is a kind of virtual CPU chips, means central processing unit inside the CPU chip called as a thread. I know many engineers don't understand the difference between core and the thread. Basically, meaning of the CPU is as simple as ideally both are the core, but core word is a stands for physical core in a CPU chip and thread word stands for virtual core chip in the CPU. Please understand. Thread is a virtual version of CPU code, not a physical one. For example, when we purchase one core CPU with one thread, then we have total two core to perform the task. Result in the CPU processor performance get twice. Listen to me carefully. I will take another, another example. Like suppose we purchase Intel i3 CPU, which has a four core, four thread. It means we have now total 8 threads, 8 cores in a CPU. 4 cores are physical and 4 cores are virtual, which all called as a thread. And the performance of this i3 CPU is getting twice and we can finish the task in a half of the time. Understood? Let's see more about the thread. Intel CPU uses hyper threading and AMD CPU uses simultaneous multi-threading you can call as a SMT. This both used for a breaking, uh, basically this both are used for breaking a physical core into a virtual core, means thread to increase the performance. Now, the clock speed or a frequency of CPU is showing at what speed the data can be processed and the catch the memory as to provide the data in a queue format. So, the CPU should not be ideal. Remember, we don't need to unlock clock speed or a frequency function. We need stable CPU chip. Now, let's do conclusion. When we purchase any CPU, it must have maximum number of cores and maximum number of threads. And also in CPU, the hyper threading should be enabled. I repeat, in CPU, hyper threading should be enabled. In many CPU, hyperthreading is not enabled, so you have to check it before you have to purchase. Also, we don't need to unlock clock speed or a frequency function. We need stable CPU chip. The maximum core and a thread with multi-threading processor at a fixed clock speed or a frequency will give you maximum performance along with a good clock speed or a frequency with a good catch memory. Understood? Now. Let's talk about GPU enable or not enable GPU. GPU stands for Graphical Processing Unit. In other words, GPU, you can say GPU, GPU means graphic card. GPU is the second most important component by which we can see the display on a monitor screen. To run any graphics, we need to have GPU. In the market, there are two types of GPU processor available. Basically, in CPU chip with GPU enable are the one kind of GPU chip means graphical processing unit inside the CPU chip. So, we did not need to separate graphic card to boot or see the computer screen. Don't get confused between CPU and GPU. Guys, both are different. In CPU, basically CPU is the main processor unit and GPU is the graphical processing unit. We require separate graphical processor or we, uh, we can say we require the separate graphical processor chip to see the screen on monitor. Okay, understood. GPU enable CPU are those CPU in which we don't require any graphic, a graphic card to boot the system because CPU has their own inbuilt basic GPU. We don't require to purchase additional graphic card to boot the computer. This type of CPU processor are the most commonly used to do simple tasks in a computer. Like watching movie for email, internet suffering, simple tasks like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. We can do this type of task very easily by this type of CPU in which we have already inbuilt GPU. Take an example. Suppose we purchase Intel i3 CPU which has 4 core and 4 thread which has input, we can say, which has inbuilt simple GPU. In this type of CPU processor, you can run CAD and FPS software. 
but this process will be very slow and will will not get this that kind of performance here in a market most of the laptop and a desktop has a cpu processor which has inbuilt gpu so don't get a full my dear friend i strongly recommend you to don't buy a laptop or a desktop if you want to work on a cad or apa software if you purchase purchase gpu enable cpu then you are playing for uh, then after that you are you are going to pay for graphic card and when you add external graphic card there is a no use of gpu enable cpu the computer uses external graphic card not inbuilt gpu and cpu so don't waste money so let's take an example again so in this example we purchase intel i3 cpu which has 4 core and 4 thread and which and don't don't having inbuilt gpu then we purchase an attached graphic card external my dear friend this type of cpus are very useful once you add external graphic card trust me your cpu performance is going to boost it like a rocket so it's clear which type of cpu you have to purchase now let's talk about a ram basically ram means random access memory ram is the third most important component it is a one kind of temporary memory whenever we boot the computer the operating system is loaded in a ram then we perform various task listen to me carefully when we have to work on any task we need dynamic memory and this is the exact function or use of ram similarly when we open any image file means photo and this photo is loaded in a ram so we can zoom or edit that photo let's take one another example like uh, when we uh, when we are open any movie file then it will be loaded in a ram by which we can control the volume we can run forward backward and many task my dear friend to see various photo we need software also to see movie we need software it means that there are tons of software developed to perform various types of work so in a ram what the operating system that is window is loaded in a ram then to see photos the photos visualization software is loaded in a ram then at last photo file is loaded in the ram similarly if open movie file along with the photo file then tell me how much data is loaded in on a ram exactly ram is loaded first window then photo visualization software then photos then movie visualization software and finally movie file so many data guys windows operating system required minimum 2 gb ram memory to operate and plus every software required some minimum ram memory and it is added with the respective memory size of each application file so my dear friends i think you will get clear an idea about the importance of ram to to run many software in a uh, to run so many software at a time we need good amount of ram lacking of memory will slow down your computer in a market there are many companies provide a ram with a memory size 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb and so on remember only increasing ram will not increase the computer speed only you need to keep ram memory size recommended by the software application and that's enough okay now you also need to note down that cpu processor speed is very high and ram has also its own frequency correct so we need to keep a ram frequency enough to that cpu doesn't wait for data if ram frequency is less then uh, then cpu processor become ideal we can't utilize the full capacity of cpu processor there is one more important point that is we need to use dual channel ram dual channel ram are different and in motherboard you find dual channel slot of one color If you want to install RAM of 8 GB, then we should not install one single 8 GB RAM. We need to install RAM of 4 GB. Means we for 8 GB RAM we divide it into 4 plus 4. Then we will get total 8 GB RAM. Remember, every RAM speed frequency is slightly different while manufacturing. So you need to take precaution while purchasing RAM. There in the market, special dual channel RAM is available. only this type of ram can work in a parallel also as per the version uh, at 
uh, we as latest version we get RAM as a DID of DID one, DID two, DID four, DID three, so on. So we need to use latest version of it. So if you use latest version of RAM, you will get maximum speed. So you have to purchase RAM at least minimum total eight GB with the dual channel slot option means four GB plus four GB dual channel RAM. And also it should be the latest version at least DID DDR four. Okay. Also, if you are handling very heavy file size, then I will recommend you to purchase minimum 16 GB RAM with dual channel slot option. Means 8 GB plus 8 GB dual channel RAM. Also, it should be latest version at least DDR4 with a high frequency. I think you understand very well. Now let's talk about GPU. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. In other words, GPU is a graphics card. You can say graphics card. We have already discussed about this while comparing difference between CPU and GPU. Remember, we have to purchase those CPU which is not having inbuilt GPU. Purchase the plain simple one and attach external graphics. CPU basically GPU is a uh, it is one of the most kind of temporary graphic memory. And whenever we boot the computer. The operating system graphics is loaded in a monitor and we can perform various tasks by visualizing the monitor graphics. Listen carefully. When we have to work on any task of 3D graphics, we need huge graphics memory. And this is the exact function of use of GPU and graphics card. To generate huge 3D graphics modeling software, we need minimum 2 GB graphic card. And if you have heavy graphics file, then you should go for 4 GB to 6 GB. Also, graphic card have their own speed or a frequency of operating. And as you know, the CPU processor speed frequency is very high. So you need to purchase high frequency graphic card. And that makes the full, full visualization of CPU chip. In a market, there are many graphic cards provider company, but I suggest to go with NVIDIA because it is the oldest one and most of the software companies make their 3D modeling software compatible with NVIDIA graphic card. So now let's talk about hard disk. Hard disk is a fifth most important component. It is the one, uh, it is basically used for permanent storage of memory. Whenever we boot the computer, the operating system is loaded from the permanent storage memory so we can perform various tasks when we have to work on any task in a software we need per we need permanent storage memory to access various various files and this is the exact function or use of hard disk hard disk also have their own operating speed to read and write if our hard disk read and write speed is very high then we can weekly perform various tasks so in a market there are major two types of hard disk are available First one is SSD. SSD hard disk is a fastest solid storage device and there is a no mechanical drive to read and write data. On this device, we can install our operating system, so many softwares like CAD FES softwares uh, for video editing, you can, uh, you can install video editing softwares too. Result in this operating system work on maximum speed. Now second one is HSD hard disk. It is the, it, it also used for a as a storage device. This one uh, uh, this is this one is mechanical device to read and write the data. Now these types of hard disk is used to store huge data and comparatively it is slower than SSD. So you have to purchase two storage device. One is SSD for operating system and software installation, and second one for HSD hard disk to store huge data. Now let's talk about motherboard. Basically, it is used to connect all the component of PC. Many, com uh, many company provides motherboard. Uh, you have to check its compatibility for CPU processor. Number of dual RAM channel slot, PCI slot for a graphic card installation, HDMI port should be there. One, you fix the CPU processor, you get respective mother motherboard from different manufacturer. Select on the basis how much you can update your computer system. Now let's talk about power supply, also called as UPS, used to supply power. Power supply is a seventh most important component. 
the system needs lots of power because many components are installed and they require power every component like cpu processor ram gpu graphic card are listed with a wad power supply if power supply is not proper the computer component will not perform at optimum speed whenever you build a computer check the each component wad requirement i think you understood it is very simple don't compromise in this let's talk about cabinet it is used for cooling the computer system cabinet many people ignore this but you have to understand if you are if your uh, uh, computer is not getting proper ventilation then pc performance will drastically decreases understand so power vat is converting into heat we need to cool it down so don't ignore this cabinet proper cooling will boost your performance for of your computer apart from this we need we need keyboard plus mouse purchase good bank about monitor monitor shoulder hdmi port ips panel with 19 inch screen about wifi adapter we need internet about operating system i prefer windows 10 because it is the most popular one and all softwares are developed for windows operating system about antivirus please use antivirus to protect operating system from unwanted program called as a virus so about also you need pen drive it gives you mobility to transfer data about cad and fps software on which we create engineering graphic design then we need one extension box used to plug in various component for power supply then all we need printer scanner okay these all components are required to build our computer i hope you'll get whole idea about pc component i believe you get lots of values by watching this webinar so now i want you to type in a comment box what value you get from this webinar i know i am waiting for your comment guys please comment in a comment box and i hope you will get lots of value added information my dear fresher engineers this is the correct time to build your career and if you want to earn lots of money then you have to learn cad and fps software remember your engineering degree cannot scale up one lakh salary in 3 to 5 years but if you choose designing career using this cad cam technology trust me you have the awesome future and i am also the founder of fresher engineering community and i am on the mission on how engineers can earn lots of money by doing job in a design industry so now invite you to become a part of this fresher engineering community please guys share this video on your facebook page whatsapp and start helping our fresher engineering community i know you will definitely share this video now i take permission to say bye if you have any query please comment i will definitely try to reply as soon as possible thank you guys